a child that was born or conceived out of wedlock, how does the rights of the parents on the child, child on the parents, how does that go? Yeah, this is a difficult one, um, which obviously requires an ijtihad in our current time because in principle, of course, out of wedlock, this is not the, the, the father, this is yeah, an illegitimate relationship, we do not give the name, everything. Like it is an illegal relationship it's, and, and, and the scholars back in the time, back in the day, in line with the hadith of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu did not want to give any kind of legitimacy to this reality so it doesn't become encouraged behavior. Because this is of course yani, the laziest and the most yani, uh, everything that is, that is negative about this kind of setup. Now the problem is of course, that it's now become quite a norm. And now in our society, many, many, many children and amongst Muslims are born into this reality. And we can't just be saying, oh, well, you know, there's an ideal reality from back in the day. And now we're just going to apply it. And none of these people are going to be given names and none of them are going to be, uh, you know, seen and treated like a father, etc., etc. So this was initially suggested by Ibn Taymiyyah. Yani he thought that just even by his time, and that's many hundreds of years ago, that the situation had become so bad that we need to change yani, our approach. If he was here right now, I'm sure that he would change it even more and again. So my opinion is that it is permissible that for uh, for the sake of political reality and because of legal reality and because you know it's so much pressure upon a kid to not know who their parent is and uh, and tell his their kids you know who they are and where's the dad etc. For the kid to take the name of that person and for the yeah, even though he's not his technical father, he's just literally the biological donor effectively. Okay, and to act like he's the father and to bring him in. Obviously, the ideal situation is to ensure that Anika happens and that we then we kind of like turn him into like a proper father. Right. And, and if that's the case, then we can then also then deal with that at the inheritance level and the rights and everything else. But until then, it's like a pseudo reality and pseudo reality kind of only based because of the mental kind of pressure upon the child, the illegitimate child, because this is yani, what they've been brought into. So that's, that's my position. Basically, we would apply pseudo rights as soon as possible with a view to giving full biological, full legal parent kind of status by, by encouraging the, the, the father. So does that change once an account has happened? Technically, no, because it happened yani, when it wasn't a reality, right? But it's something a little bit more that helps us to feel a little bit better to produce a legal result, right? I know that you're thinking, oh, I don't understand this. And the reason that you don't understand it is the same way that we don't understand why the Prophet ﷺ would make wudu, for example, after marital relations. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't lift the state. But what did all the scholars say? That it produces something a little bit extra to what we want to get to, which is complete purity of the body, even though it blatantly isn't. Not in a practical sense, not in a legal sense. So these little things that we do, sometimes in sharia or some are basically trying to create a pseudo state which is a little bit closer to the kind of thing that we're trying to get to so uh it, it, it's 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 effectively trying to make the best out of a very bad situation out of a situation that we don't want to encourage that we want to put a lockdown on that we want to try and negate that we want to try and push away and we've got an innocent party that is going through a real problem yani, in society and they need that stability how can we do that what, in what kind of way without yani, changing all the rules and that's kind of what's in play at the moment Allah Alam. <laughs>